Oh hey, how are you today? My name is Keely and welcome to Heart of Gold Tarot. I thought I'd do something a little different. I thought I'd do like a general reading for you all. I thought let's pick some cards, pick some decks and see what comes through the collective. What we, sh what messages should we hear right now? What would benefit all of us to know? Normally I do YouTube uploads once a week or almost once a week. But my husband, at the spur of the moment, was sent overseas for work for the next few months. So my whole YouTube upload schedule has gone. <laughs> I'm alone with my Gemini twins, who just turned four the other day, and our little Taurus baby, who just turned two, and he's teething. So I'm alone with three small children, and I hardly have any time to do anything. This is a miracle that I can do this right now. So. For those of you who've been asking, Keely, do you do private readings? Well, um, not yet. <laughs> My Etsy store, I have everything ready to go. It's just not um, uploaded yet, or I haven't opened my Etsy store yet because I can't pull off being a mom, taking care of myself, and then trying to do my YouTube channel and private reading. So please forgive me, it was my intention a couple weeks ago to open my Etsy store, but now that my husband is overseas for the next few months, I'm gonna have to, to politely decline any private readings. However, I will do um, contests for you guys to win a private read, because I can do one Z, two Zs every once in a while, but I can't take on all of the requests that I've been getting, and I'm very grateful for all the, the requests um, you guys have been sending me through DMs and various means to let me know that you'd like me to read for you. Thank you. Just right now, I can't. It's not in the cards. <laughs> not yet, anyway. So, in the meantime, I'm going to try to try to do some general uh, readings for the collective. So, we got some cards right here. So, we have the High Priestess, Archangel Haniel. Sorry if I said that wrong. Powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. Leap of faith, Archangel Metatron. Now, after watching Supernatural, I have to tell you, I can never like undo knowing Metatron for all you Supernatural fans out there. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. Yes, do what gives you joy. And three of Ariel. Do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in a cooperative manner. These are really great cards. So we have, so a lot of you I feel definitely have the whole psychic ability. Uh, definitely um, the last few weeks to months You've been really honing in on your gift, or you're really becoming aware, and you've been kind of like, it's like a muscle, you've been like exercising it, seeing how strong you can get, like how powerful you can get, and it's working, because like this High Priestess card came through, that's pretty strong. So powerful psychic insight, reflection, meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace. So know that all the inner work that you've been doing You've been doing a great job and it, all the stuff that you've been working on, it's like churning things for the positive. It's like moving you forward. The things that you desire, the things that you've been working towards, the universe sees you doing the work. They see it, the universe, the universe sees that you are, are putting in the time and the focus and the dedication to change, to be better to get out of like karmic cycles, karmic um, contracts. So be at peace, things are happening for you, okay? I understand that they're not happening as quickly as you'd like, I totally get that, I really do. But understand the universe sees you and sees what you've been doing and things are coming towards you, so be at peace, okay? And then the leap of faith, Archangel Metatron, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy. And these two go together. So you've been, like I said, been doing the work, practicing, uh, for some of you, you've been practicing um, your psychic abilities or something along those lines. 
Um, totally believe in yourself. I completely understand. Sometimes I question myself. You're on the right path. Just believe in yourself, okay? Because sometimes I feel like you're your own worst enemy and it's not the other, like outside forces judging you. It, you are judging yourself and being really tough on yourself. So knock it off, okay? Because believe in yourself, listen to your heart and do what gives you joy. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the people who question what you're doing or how you're going about it. You just do you, okay? Ignore the other people. It's none of their damn business what you're doing and what brings you joy, what makes you happy every day, okay? You just do you, mind your own business, ignore those other people. They don't know what the heck they're talking about, okay? But you're on the right path. You're doing the good stuff, okay? And then three of Ariel, do what you love. Again, do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. Okay, so again, this is you know more confirmation. The work that you've been doing is great. You're moving forward. You're you're accomplishing things. You're you're getting to where you'd like to be. Continue doing what you love. Be your authentic self. I feel like a lot of you with this whole inner work that you've been doing a lot the last few months or even longer. You have becoming, you are becoming your authentic self. And I understand that people around you might be weirded out or some people are falling away, like family members or friends are not, they don't understand you anymore. They don't quite understand it and they're falling away, away to the wayside or they're distancing themselves from you. That's okay. They're, you're being opened up to um, new people, new experiences, kind of like when one door closes, another one opens. So I understand if you get sad, if um, family members or friends start distancing from, from you because you're beca becoming more authentic, you're, you're doing you, and other people may not understand that, that's okay. Let them go. You can still love them. You can still have feelings for them, but do it from afar. Focus on you and the people, the other people who are like you, who are on the similar wavelength, the similar path, the similar vibration, are gonna find you. You guys are gonna find each other and you guys are gonna be working really well together on being your authentic selves and creating things, whatever it is, like like um, with, if it's your career or artistic endeavors, you guys are gonna find each other because you're vibing on the same or similar wavelength. So yes, people may fall to the wayside and you might be disappointed by that. However, there's really great things coming towards you really great people coming towards you. Just, just just, keep your mind and heart open to that, okay? And let's pick from Ask Your Guides. What else they say about your situation? So, man, you got some good stuff going on, for sure. High Priestess, The Leap of Faith, Three of Ariel. You guys have been working your butts off becoming your authentic selves, speaking your truths. Okay, not all of those. So this is great. Let's see what your um, guides would like to say. Again, this is a general reading for the collective. Not every card will resonate with you. That's okay. This is just a, ge a general reading. <laughs> and yeah it's for entertainment purposes only okay so we have a crap load right here so we're just going to take oh actually not that much the cards are thick okay shame divine healers okay so this goes with the whole like i told you when you're being your authentic self and people are falling to the wayside because they don't understand what you're doing they're questioning you this is confirmation shame it looks like family members or friends are walking away from you didn't I just say that? Let them go, okay? Don't feel the shame. Just let them go. Let them... You can love them from afar. You can be grateful for the relationship that you had with them, but now it's changing, and that's not a bad thing. I understand that change can be difficult to handle or difficult to understand, or just the change of the dynamic can be challenging, but understand good things and good people are coming to you. The people who vibe on your same or similar wavelength are coming to you and there won't be shame, all right? I understand it's hard when you are, are your authentic self and a lot of people are like, 
who the hell are you? What happened to you? What you changed? I don't like it. That's them. Okay. With like those statements, if that's about them and their issues, it has nothing to do with you. You keep doing the work. You keep doing what you need to do to move forward and to be your, your authentic self. Do stuff that brings you joy. Okay. Keep doing it because you are doing it. Just keep going. Deprivation, prosperity guides. Okay, so this goes kind of hand in hand with the whole shame kind of thing. So prosperity guides. So I feel like because this whole quarantine thing that you may have been financially impacted, know that your prosperity guides are going to come through and help you out some way, somehow. So um, these past several weeks, You've had to probably go without because you've had to budget and stick to a budget. Things are going to change for you, okay? I understand that you were hit hard, but things are turning around. And death. Guardian angels. Okay, so this can go... To, I went, I'm going to go the other way. So not necessarily a literal death. So maybe some of you have experienced a literal death in your family, in your friends, or, you know, your circle. But I... It instantly thought of an end to a cycle. So death, kind of like in you know the tarot deck, an end to a, a cycle, the end of old ways, the old way of being. You that all that stuff that wasn't serving you anymore has come to a close. You have embraced your high priestess. You have taken the leap of faith, and you are doing what you love. Okay, and the, and a lot of people. Are walking away from you or distancing themselves from you because they don't understand you have gone through deprivation either financial emotional whatever it may be but this death what all this that has occurred is all that's coming to an end all of that chaos the stress the uncertainty the uncomfortable feelings are coming to a close because decisions higher self your higher self is speaking to you, okay? With the whole high priestess leap of faith and the three of Ariel, with you doing you and you being your authentic self, you are opening yourself up to wonderful opportunities. Again, like this card says like career or artistic endeavors, or they could be both combined depending on, you know, whoever is watching this. These uncomfortable, these icky, old patterns are coming to an end and you are opening yourself up to your higher self you are connecting to your higher self more often than not you are listening to yourself because you're doing what you love you're doing more of what you love okay okay in this picture it's like you got people holding hands and they're giving each other gifts and they're being supportive so on um, you know this card people are walking away from you but on this Hard. People are, are are in your circle. You know, they're in your embrace. They're right next to you. They're embracing you. They're offering you gifts. They're supporting you. So, yeah, this is awesome. Okay. So all of you who've been doing the work and it's been really uncomfortable and not fun, it's okay. Great things are coming towards you. Okay. The the these things that you've been working on, these people that, I'm gonna be honest, you can love these people, you can have feelings for these people, but your relationships have changed. And that's not a bad thing because everyone's a teacher and a student. You have learned valuable lessons from these people and they have learned valuable lessons from you or some of them are learning them, okay? Again, it reminds me of not a literal death, Maybe for some of you, you've had a literal death in your family, but I feel like overall, for the majority of you, it's a karmic cycle. Cycle has come to an end. This whole, I feel like there's this conflict of, should I be my authentic self or should I do what everyone expects me to do? What's the social norm? What's, you know, the whole peer pressure thing. But you chose because this whole isolation thing where you got to literally go within and really do the work and really find out like what makes you happy, what brings you joy, what do you really want to do with your life, what do you want to do for your career, what brings you joy, and you've been doing that work, 
and you are reclaiming your power and your intuition, you're listening to yourself, you're listening to your higher self and these karmic cycles, these cycles are coming to an end. These relationships are coming to an end. But that's not a bad thing because these new relationships are coming forward, okay? So again, if these are family members, you can still love them. I'm not saying you can't talk to them anymore. It's just your relationship has changed. The dynamic has changed. You just know how, now you have to figure out how can you still love them, but love them from afar and then understand what they say isn't a reflection of you. It's a reflection of them and what's going on in their world. Okay. So that message is for somebody, but this is great. This is wonderful. You've been doing the work and it's showing up in the cards. So if some of you have had a literal death in the family, I'm very sorry. I send my condolences. That is very hard, especially during the whole quarantine thing. But I feel like most of you, this is about a cycle coming to an end and a new beginning. This is all about new beginnings. Sweet baby Jesus, we all need new beginnings, don't we? <laughs> Especially after the last couple months or more. I know I would need, I know I need a new beginning for sure. Well, my friends, I hope you liked your reading. If you did, please let me know in the comments if you like this whole kind of like last minute, short, collective reading. I would love to hear your feedback. All right, my friends, ta-ta for now.